Ladies and gents, massive video. The hurt of Dogecoin is here. Yes, in this video, I'm gonna explain exactly, exactly what this means for Dogecoin and the potential of this new coin. Yes, Nero. And of course, we are gonna explore some price action as to whether or not it's too late to be getting in on the next replacement for Dogecoin. So make sure you stick around. Thank you for joining me once again. Support is much appreciated. Go ahead, take two seconds of your time, like, subscribe, and tick that notification bell to stay in tune with my future videos. All your support is much appreciated. Now, markets are looking quite good, and of course, we can see right here, things like Immutable X, Sui, still on the climb. Things are looking very, very nice. Yes, Bitcoin punching above that 60K mark right now. This is good news so far. The question is, can we sustain this into October, i.e. October? But guys, I wanna share my last video you can see right here was on Sui. I had a price target here. If we did continue the momentum to push to the upside, which we did, we flipped this level and we exactly hit nicely facing some selling pressure here at my price target of $1.16 for the Sui price. So anyone that took that trade, congratulations. That was a massive trade, a good trade. And yeah, it was amazing. So let's jump on and talk a little bit about what is going on because massive news is rocking the markets right now with the potential uh, of Dogecoin. Yes, this video is based all on Nero. Nero is Doge's replacement, the person who gave rise to the Dogecoin, their dog passed away in May, and of course they have just purchased a new dog, and that dog's name is Nero. And here we go with the replacement of Doge. The rightful heir to the throne is Nero. But it's not just some gimmick, it's just been listed on Binance. There is so much bullish news around this. I wanna talk about that, and then I wanna talk about whether or not it's actually too late to get involved right now. So let me just have a drink, and let's jump on in. First, well, what is Nero? Does it have a use case? Is there anything useful of this cryptocurrency? Well, on CoinGecko, not yet CoinMarketCap, but CoinGecko, you can get the rightful contract address. This is based on the ERC20 chain. Yes, Ethereum, ladies and gentlemen. You can see its socials right here, Telegram, Twitter. It's all there as well. Where you can buy it, the market's available right now. Big Get, HTX, all of these, Binance have listed it. It's massive right now. So this is something very useful. And of course, we can see all the data right here. It was pretty flat for a bit since August. Whoever has made this, it's insane. Now we've just had this X, just a massive pump. It, this is just massive, massive. And we're gonna go into the details very shortly. Their website here is the Her of Doge. Yes, adopted by the same loving hands that cared for Doge. Nero is the first to deploy on the Ethereum led by the community and inspired by Legacy. Yes, that is absolutely correct. And even Vitalik is getting on board. Charity donation done covering all animal coins for the past year or so. That said, I appreciate it if coin holdings just get allocated to charities directly. Yes, you can come onto their website and you can check all their on-chain metrics. We do have a 316 million market cap right now. Still insane. I mean, this is big, big. Now, don't go anywhere because I am going to be diving into some price action, jumping onto their socials. However, here is their official socials. Check it out. You can check all the information out about it. Is this the replacement of Doge? Everyone is, am I too late? It is absolutely exploding. Well, we're gonna to get to that very shortly. Though it is looking to sustain its momentum right now because it listed on Binance following an 856% spike on the Binance announcement listing. I mean, this is insane. Like, let's be honest, this is absolutely crazy. This is the kind of stuff that everyone wants to be getting onto early. And if we just take a look at Doge's price action back when it got listed, this can give you an idea of potentially the next leg up in this in, in the end of this bull market should it come, what kind of price action one could expect from this token just because of its legacy. I mean, this is undoubtedly the biggest thing since Doge, potentially. This is the biggest thing. Binance is giving that legitimacy. legitimacy. The next thing, all eyes are going to be on Elon Musk as to whether or not he is going to be mentioning it. But of course, if you did want to be trading top coins, guys, top coins with an 8,000 $800 bonus, jump onto Femex. I have videos on their trading bots, their copy trading. You can be seamlessly copying other traders, of course, doing your own research, not financial advice, but it is that easy and I have some methods in the video, so go check them out. Jumping on now to some precious, precious price action. What is going on? This chart is not as historically dated as the August the 2nd on CoinGecko. The reason for that is because this is listed 
on Binance. So this is showing the Binance price right here. You can see here, Tether, right? Let's take a look where we are heading. I think everyone is wondering, oh, are we going to see see another bottom down to its en entry of a minus 57%? I don't know right now. The reason why is because I honestly think, should we continue this pullback, a few things could be happening. We may see a flag happening. This is on the hourly, right? But at least in terms of support and resistance, we are going to see a level around about. Now, this is not a definitive level, ladies and gentlemen. And this is an entry that I'm eyeing out right now, irrespective of any, because um, it's all spot right now it's only gonna be buying low and selling high. But I'm eyeing an entry at around about this price target right here at, let's call it 0705. Why? Because we can see that here, we are facing a lot of uh, selling pressure here. There was a lot of a selling wall here. Eventually we had enough uh, momentum, we broke through that, flipping it into a nice level of support. Well, what does this mean exactly, ladies and gentlemen? It means that we could have a potential bounce to the upside if we do touch this level of support. Now, in addition, there are articles when we hit this tippity top here that were mentioning that the RSI down here was very over, um, over, 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 over bought at about 81, yeah. The RSI has now ventured back into neutral territory, well, just above the mid-range at 65. What does this mean also? Well, we could have another run to the upside. Yes, this is early days, and if we do have another run to the upside, as the RSI is geeing itself up, definitely we're gonna come first. If we come off here, the first retouch we're going to see is this point right here. Now, the reason why you can see various wicks coming out here, this is where people are selling off. Maybe this is a psychological level of resistance at 0885, yes, but in terms of if we come back, which we will if we have this bounce, we will come back to this point, there'll be selling pressure again, ladies and gentlemen, potential take profit and a, uh, of percentage around about 22.91%. If we want to come above this level, where is the price going next? Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's not that simple because this is what we call psychological resistance when there is no previous price action on this point. So I would be eyeing anywhere from zero if we have mass momentum still and other listings because you must understand if Binance is listing this and is legitimately the ur to the Dogecoin, yes, it's going to replace a Doge, then you are going to see every other exchange and their dog, no pun intended, jumping on and listing this token guaranteed. So you're going to find this anywhere. So don't panic yet that you can get it on the decks, but make sure you have the right contract. But psychological resistance is going to tell me we will have a bit of selling pressure at 09 and a little bit of selling pressure 095 and then 0100, whatever that point is there. That is my price targets right now. If we fall to the bottom, we fall to the downside, what are we going to see? Well, let's reset the chart and take a look. We do have a mass fair value gap right here, massive fair value gap. We could see if we fall through this level of support to the downside, my drawings aren't great, we could see around about from this point here, if we can't hold this zone here, we could see a potential downfall to about here of 32.49%. Keep your eyes on that. We will be touching a little bit of buying pressure at about 0.41 or 0.4 to be even safe right there, this zone. This is your next bottom and let me just draw that out for you ladies and gentlemen so you can get a good idea exactly where we are looking at and it is around there, 0 0.4, 0 0.41. If we fall to the downside, we flip this, we are, we are going towards here. Guys, this is something interesting. I am eyeing out a nice entry right here. I really wanna get in on this. I, I don't wanna FOMO, emotions are important, but this could be very, very big. I did miss the news prior to this. I did miss the listing, that is absolutely my fault. But guys, that is it for today's video. Let me know, did you manage to catch this Binance release pump? This is insane, this is insane. I wanna know in the comments below. See you in the next video.